Woohoo! Altamira, here we come! Everyone travels around town in vehicles, right? Yes, the city was designed to be experienced as a resort. Even transportation has been carefully planned to be as enjoyable as possible. And Klonoa is the town mascot. I wonder if he'll be there. I hope we get a chance to meet him. Woohoo! Tenebrae, was that your Klonoa impression? Forgive me. I was jealous of Klonoa getting all the attention. I will now explain to all of you the magnificence of darkness. You really take this seriously. Of course. Darkness is truly magnificent. When you're feeling down, the thing that allows you to sink even further, to truly plumb the depths of your depression, is darkness. When you wish to conceal the truth, darkness will hide whatever you don't want to be seen. Want to topple your foes without being noticed? Do so under the cover of darkness. How about it? Are you ready to come to the dark side? I don't know. Those things don't exactly get me all excited. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Oh, but it is. If you're still unconvinced, perhaps you'd like to try a bite of my famous dark stew surprise. That is a type of stew you make by throwing random ingredients into a pot, correct? A dish of that sort would be as likely to fail as to succeed. Right, it probably wouldn't be awful, but I doubt it would taste great either. Ah. I can feel the darkness of your rejection blooming in my heart. Wow, this is Altamira. It was much livelier the last time I came here. The abnormal weather has made the sea treacherous. We've had to scale down our resort operations to compensate for the drop in visitors. It seems plenty lively to me. Can't imagine what it was like before. If we wake up Ratatosk, the city should return to normal, correct? Once that happens, I'd be glad to have you two as VIP guests. Really? Good for you! Yeah. Now we have one more reason to work hard to free Ratatosk. So where's the Lazareno headquarters? It's further into the city. Let's go. It's like every little detail in Altamira has something to do with the Lazareno company. There's even a Lazareno emblem on that manhole cover we stepped on. From the cradle to the grave, it's one of the Lazareno group's most important slogans. So I guess that means they're behind pretty much everything here. It sounds rather risky. Why? Since Lazareno provides this town with all its goods and services, if the company were ever to go bankrupt, the lives of those living here would fall apart along with it. Uh. To assure that such events do not occur, our company dedicates itself to the continued pursuit of business excellence. Very good, then. <laughs> What's with the attitude?
Lester Regal. Hello, George. Sorry to worry you. I'm just glad that you're safe. Thank you. Now, right to business. I have something I need to discuss with you immediately. What is it, sir? It's about the X-Fear mine. You see? So we'll need to demolish the mine again and cut it off from the Temple of Earth. Understood, sir. I'll send an investigative team immediately. The, the Vanguard is attacking the city! What? An attack here? Why would they? I... I don't really understand, but they're requesting we hand over the daughter of their leader! <laughs> oh no! They claim we kidnapped her and are holding her hostage. Apparently this attack is in retaliation. That... that's a lie. I'm going to set them straight. Marta! It's too dangerous to let Marta go out there alone. We have to go after her. Yes. George, I want you to declare a state of emergency for Altamira. Institute a curfew until this situation is under control. Yes, sir. Let's hurry. dangerous for you to rush out there. You need to calm down and think this through. But Altamira is in danger and it's my fault. Hawk is coming this way. This isn't good. We need to find a place to hide. Let's retreat back to the hotel for now. We'll be able to blend in with the tourists there. But none of the people in Altamira deserve this. We don't want to cause a scene here either. Otherwise, it really would look like Lazareno kidnapped you. You're right. I'm sorry. went to hell in a hurry. Is there anything the idiot Vanguard won't try? I'm sorry. N no, I'm the one who should apologize. I wasn't trying to blame you. She's right. You shouldn't feel responsible. But... Let's go back to the hotel and figure out a plan. If we all put our heads together, we're bound to find a way to resolve this. Okay. girl it's Alice what a coincidence the goddess Martel must be smiling upon me because I'm so adorable we're not handing over Marta oh wow so you mean you really did kidnap commander brute's one and only daughter Regal would never do something like that he was worried about us so he was helping me I really couldn't care less. You're with Lazareno and won't go back to Commander Brute. That's all the justification we need for the Vanguard to crush Altamira. Ugh. I'd be more than happy to beat the stuffing out of you, but I have orders from the Commander, so I'll be patient. You have until morning. We've set up operations in the casino. If you return Mart Mart to us, we'll spare this town. But if you don't come back by tomorrow, then we'll just have to kill everyone. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> we 
We've already rigged bombs all over the city. And don't even try to get the hostages out. Our people have the city surrounded. Have fun thinking it over. I've got to go see Daddy. Marta! Just wait. Like Lloyd always says, there has to be another way. First, let's find a place where we can talk this over. Sheena's right. You may use the royal suite on the top floor. I'm going to meet with the others at the company to discuss any course of action that might get the people out of the city. There should be some Mizuho scouts here too. I'll go see if there's anything we can do. You two stay here and rest. Marta, let's go! Okay. Because I was so naive. You can't think about it that way. You tried to stop the Vanguard from using Ratatosk's core for evil. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just a kid after all. I realize now how powerless I really am. If I didn't have the core on me, I'd probably be lying dead somewhere. But you're alive. And Regal and Sheena are off trying to find us a way out of all of this. And maybe there's something we can do. Thanks, but I probably only have two options right now. I can run away and abandon everyone in the city. Or... Or what? Tenebrae, hold Emil back! Get out of my way, Tenebrae! I cannot do that. If Marta goes back to the Vanguard, they'll use Ratatosk's core to do terrible things. Your other self should already know. Tenebrae, you'd betray me? Please remember. Remember the time when you were killed. I don't care if I was asked or not. Let me go! She wasn't lying. They've planted bombs all over the city. My scouts tell me they have the perimeter of the city surrounded as well. If we knew where all the bombs were, we'd have a way out of this. Hey, have either of you seen Marta? No. We just got back. What happened to her? She's gonna give herself up to save the city. They're based in the casino, so she must have gone there. Damn it! Don't run off as well. So we should just send her to die? Calm down. Marta is Brute's daughter. They wouldn't just kill her like that. What? The fact that we know where they are works to our advantage. What do you mean? We know they've planted bombs throughout the city. It's safe to assume the detonator for those bombs is in the casino. We'll rescue Marta and destroy the detonator. They'll at least be powerless for a moment. I get it. And before they can recover, we evacuate all the citizens. Exactly. All right. I'll go meet with my Mizuho scouts to hammer down a plan to evacuate everyone. I won't be long. 
I need to make some arrangements as well. Emil, wait here, and don't do anything rash. It might do you some good to get some rest. Marta. Forgive you once we get Marta back in one piece. No, make that if we get Marta back in one piece and the citizens aren't hurt. Then I'll forgive you. You've changed. Lady Marta would surely be ecstatic to hear what you just said. I'm gonna give the body back to him. He probably won't remember any of this, so you'll need to explain it to him. I'm sure you were listening to our conversation anyway. I will do as you wish. Wake up, Emil! We're ready. Oh, right. Tenebrae explained things to me. Is Marta still safe? Well, I haven't gotten word that she's left the city. We must execute the plan while it's still dark. Now, to the casino. Yes. I'll need to wear these handcuffs for this part of the plan. Why do you have to wear those? These are no ordinary handcuffs. They're actually a type of remote control device. Huh? I can use these to control the casino's power grid. Wow, that's perfect. However, the device is a prototype, and its viable control range is small. We'll need to get inside the casino for it to work. So once we're in and use the handcuffs... Wait, why does it have to look like handcuffs anyway? Ah, I see. You're going to use your status. That's exactly right. I'm the president of the Lezareno Company and a Tefa Allen Duke. I ought to make quite a present for them. You sure you're all right with this, Regal? I mean, being in handcuffs again? Don't worry, I'm used to it. It's the fact that you're used to it that worries me. Um... Hmm? Hmm? If he's a present for the Vanguard, should we tie a pink ribbon on him or something? Forget that. We want them to accept the present, not refuse it. I'm afraid I have to agree. All right, let's go. Marta's is okay? Well, it is Alice we're dealing with. It's impossible to be certain, but I doubt even she'd dare to kill the commander's daughter. Exactly. All we need to do is find the weak spot in their plan and exploit it. Marta's gonna be fine. Although, I'm gonna have to give that girl a talking to when this is over. She can't just run off like this. Yeah. Marta, please be okay. They've completely taken control of the city. When you consider all the blood that would be spilled, our plan is far more desirable than open resistance. Wow, Regal. Hmm? 
It's just, I was struck by your keen insight. <laughs> You'll be like this when you're older, too. You mean walking around in handcuffs like a convict? It's better than wearing a ribbon. <laughs> That's for sure. Regal, I'm sorry about earlier. Hmm? That thing I said about presents needing a ribbon? It was a stupid joke. I shouldn't have made fun of you like that. It's all right. I mean, I actually sort of think wearing a ribbon would suit you. You know, being an aristocrat and everything. Or maybe not a ribbon, but a rose? A rose. Like you could wear it in your hair or clinch it in your teeth? I've sent roses to ladies before, but I can't say I've ever worn one. Besides, if I were to do something like that, Sheena would never let me live it down. Actually, it might look kind of good. What? what? What do you want? We brought a present for Lady Alice. A present? Yes. What's the present? I am. The renowned, super powerful president of the Lezzareno Company, Duke Regal Bryant. You may have heard of him. Well, how about it? Yes, but why would you bring him here? We want to become members of the Vanguard. This is our offering to Lady Alice. Uh, all right. We will notify Lady Alice. Come with me. She says you may enter. Be sure to watch your manners. Sweet! Sneaking past these guards is easy as pie. Yes, that was rather easy. They do seem to lack a certain dedication to their work. Exactly. Hey, wait, Tenaby. Aren't you gonna say something like, I quite agree, sweetie pie? Sweetie pie? I hardly think this is the time to be exchanging such pleasantries. You're missing the point. Making bad jokes and puns is your thing. Sweet. Easy as pie. Sweetie pie. Get it? Let's see. Sweet. Sweet. It's sweetie pie until the bitter end. Correct? <sighs> Never mind. who want to join the Vanguard. Yes. Bringing Regal straight to me with such a transparent lie? You're more stupid than I thought. Hockey, arrest them, will you? I'll go fetch Commander Brute. You lock them up in the prison. You're also in charge of the detonator while I'm gone. Please, leave everything to me. Emil! Fools, you can rot in here. Marta, thank goodness you're all right. Why are you all here? We found a way to save you, along with the city. I'd given up hope on finding a way to do both. You're the one who taught me that you can't give up so easily. Emil! Thank you. Have you seen Hawk with anything that could be a bomb detonator? Now that you mention it, yes. I saw Alice hand something like that to Hawk. She said something about a switch that could destroy the city. 
Yeah, he did have some weird thing hanging from his neck. All right, then we need to go after Hawk. Everyone ready? Let the mission begin. Whoa. The power for the entire casino is out. The lock on this prison cell should be disengaged as well. All right, let's go. Looks like Alice is still abusing Hawk. He probably doesn't have a choice, especially when you consider their legendary duel. What is this duel? When Alice joined the Vanguard, Hawk was the head of the combat unit. They apparently battled it out for his position, and he lost in a really bad way. I'm almost afraid to ask. I didn't see it, so I can't be sure, but I heard he still has scars from that battle on his back. Supposedly, they formed the words, Alice's pet. Talk about being scarred for life. If things were normal, I would have loved to check out the casino. What are you saying? Kids aren't allowed to gamble. Hey, I'm not a child anymore. What do you say, Emil? Don't you think it sounds like fun? Actually, I'd rather go play in the amusement park. Oh, stop being so childish. Hold your horses. You two are the same age. You kids are gonna have to stick to the amusement park. I believe you've always preferred the amusement park yourself, Sheena. Or am I mistaken? Seriously? <laughs> Sheena, you've got the body of a woman, but the heart of a little girl. S so what? What's all the commotion? Daddy! Marta, you're the descendant of the noble Silverant dynasty, and yet you associate with these low-born peasants. Have you no shame? Daddy! Are you still obsessing about that? The Silveron Dynasty has no bearing on who we are right now. I see you've yet to realize the significance of your heritage. What? What do you think you're 
doing? Consorting with filthy scum like yourselves has obviously clouded my daughter's mind. Taste the mighty power that has been granted to me by Solom's car! Go on ahead. Regal! What are you waiting for? This man Brute is extremely skilled. If we waste time fighting here, more Vanguard will arrive and we'll be captured. It would certainly be reckless for us to fight in earnest against an opponent who's using the power of Solom's core. for nothing. Yeah. Emil's right. Come on, let's hurry. Troubles aren't over just yet. I won't let you get away this time. Crescent Strike! Ah! Prisea? This place is dangerous. Come with me. We 
should be okay now. Who are you? My name is Prisea Combatir. Prisea was one of our companions on the journey of world regeneration. But what are you doing in Altamira? I came to tell everyone at Lezareno about what's happening in Ozette. But I ran into someone from the village of Mizuho. They filled me in on the situation here, so I decided to help. You couldn't have come at a better time. Take these two somewhere safe. I need to go back to Altamira. If you're going to help Regal, I'm coming too. No, you have to protect Marta. Regal? Did something happen to him? He's off fighting the Vanguard all by himself. Marta and Emil can fill you in on the details. Sheena... I don't quite understand what's going on, but I'll take you to somewhere safe. You can fill me in once we get there. Right. Thank you.